Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making the map for our game. In the last episode we imported all our assets and then we made them into prefabs. Before we get started I just want to say that there's a very cool, cool asset that you can uh, install that will help you a lot. So just go to the asset store or you can do it you can do it here or you can do it in Google and then just open it in Unity. It's called ProGrids. And it allows you to place objects much, much uh, more precise and better and quicker. If you don't know how to set this up, uh, I suggest you go watch Bracky's video on this. He did a very nice video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But I'm just going to import it in here. As I said, I already have mine set up. I'm just going to delete this floor. When we were planning out our map, uh, there should have been a park in the middle. And then just buildings around it and the street around it. And it would have been a pretty small and cool map. And that's what we're going to do. So for the park in the middle I just want to create a terrain you can see that the terrain is way too big for the for us so just go to this cogwheel thing in the terrain so just select the terrain go here and under resolution you can change the terrain width and terrain length I think I'm going to set mine to something like 50 by 50 or actually 60 should work 60 by 60 and this should be uh, big enough for our map so we're going to place the road around the park and then the build buildings on the side of the road should be pretty cool but first I just want to show you how we're going to do this so I'm just going to place a sidewalk here and then I will place a curb and then we'll place the road and then we'll do the curb again here and the sidewalk again and then the building here on the other side so that's the basic concept here so I'll just fast forward this and you can do it yourself, it's pretty, pretty easy. One thing I forgot to mention, I will just create an empty object placed in the 000 position. And I will call this one environment. And then I will place everything under that object just so it's a bit more organized and then I'll create another empty object and call this one sidewalks and then I'll just parent the sidewalk to that just so it's organized a bit better that's very important when you're map making maps A very useful shortcut is just shift and left click so you can left click here and then shift left click to select everything and it's going to make it much easier just to duplicate like this. Another very cool thing is just you can duplicate the side box here and drag them all the way to the other side. You can also duplicate it once more, rotate around, uh, rotate around Y axis for 90 degrees and you will get it on that side and then just duplicate this one and move it to the other side here. Now we do have some duplicate ones, so just delete those in the edges here. So there's, there's two of them here. I'll just delete them. N another very cool shortcut is just uh, focusing on the object. So if you click on an object and press F, it will focus on that object. Also what we want to do is just select, uh, just fill these holes up. So just Control D uh, and uh, fill that up.
Now I found a small problem with this, of course. Since we did not make like a turning road, we will have to think of something else to do. So I think I have a plan. We can import a pla plane. The Unity's default plane. And then we can um, place it here. Also make it a bit bigger. So the scale to be 1.25. Something like this. That actually may be a bit too big. But I think it will work fine. So we'll go to materials and apply the same material that we have on the road. And this should... Yeah, this looks pretty good actually. So I'll just call this road crossing, I guess. So we're going to add some buildings now and the same way that we did before I'm going to add some planes on the edges here and then we'll place the buildings on that on those planes.
Right, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. It doesn't look too much repetitive. Too, too repetitive. What we can do later is just add some uh, mountains back here or something like that. Or some more buildings, taller buildings. Just so it doesn't look so empty. And also what you can do, actually what we will do is uh, create some more assets. Maybe some roadblocks or some other fences that we can pr place here. So it does look uh, more natural. And well, also what we have to do is just uh, block this out a, a bit. Not too much, just a bit. Like this, for example. And we do have uh, these corners that are not really blocked out very nicely. But we can do those later. So basically today we got this kind of a base uh, map thingy. Next time we're going to add uh, some detail. Or some more detail because this I guess doesn't look too bad. The video is already too long. I don't want to keep you that much time or take you that much time. So if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like or if this helped you also leave a like. Uh, comment down below if you have any ideas, suggestions or something or if you need help. Go follow me on my social media or support me on Patreon if you want to. Uh, that'll be very nice of you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.